Hello and welcome to the Mizzou Engineering eWeek Lab Exhibits 2021. Unfortunately, we cannot do these activities and these presentations in person this year, but we hope you enjoy our virtual presentation. So today we're going to be talking about what industrial engineers do, linear optimization. Before we start, what is an industrial engineer? Industrial engineers apply science, mathematics, and engineering methods to solve problems and make systems more efficient. They're concerned with saving money, time, resources, and so many other different materials and other important factors in, that are concerned with making money. The goal of every industrial engineer is to find what different ways to make things better. And I know at times there might seem like, oh, there's no way to make this better or to make that better. But that's why there are industrial engineers because we're always looking to change different things. So what is linear optimization? In short, linear optimization is a method to achieve the best outcome in a mathematical model whose requirements are represented by linear relationships. So what is the goal of linear optimization? The goal of linear optimization is to find the best solution to the problem you are trying to solve based on what's preventing you from solving that problem. That problem that constraint can be time, size, money, or anything else. The problem could be finding a shortest path to an end destination, finding the cheapest way to accomplish a task, or taking up the most possible space to avoid any empty area, like packing a suitcase. You wanna put as much in the suitcase as possible. The same thing with moving boxes or putting clothes in your closet. You wanna make sure that you're using all of your space available. Why is linear optimization important? Well, in order to find the optimal solution, we have to go through a series of equations and thought processes to find what is going to be the best for us. And finding this optimal solution allows us to save time and money. And when we find this optimal solution, we are not wasting extra resources. And then using linear optim optimization allows us to consider all opportunities and pick what is best for us instead of just picking one possibility and saying this is going to work because there are might be multiple different solutions that give us that get us to where we want to be, but there's always one that is the best for our situation. You might be wondering where linear optimization can be used. Each of the companies below want to find the shortest delivery route every day to save gas, mileage, and time it takes to get your, do your mail or package. So these include Amazon, UPS, FedEx, USPS. Um, and saving gas, mileage, and time equals saving lots of money. So how industrial engineers work with linear optimization. So when an industrial engineer is trying to find the best way to solve a problems based on the time involved, the distance, the size, or the money they can spend, they want to make sure that there is no wasted space in shipping trucks or package cars like those that UPS, Amazon, or FedEx use to deliver your packages. They could also be trying to find the best layout of a manufacturing plant to decrease the distance that workers have to travel between spot A to spot B so that there's a more efficient flow of work being done in the plant. Linear optimization is mainly composed of using mathematical models to solve problems. So industrial engineers take linear math problems that have multiple constraints, and then you're able to formulate the, um, a possible solution. So in this first picture here, you can see that using the simplex tableau, they could find a 10 minute time to complete a task. And then here is a linear equation, and then these would be the constraints that you would plug in with real numbers in a real problem. We wanted to show you an everyday example of how optimization is used that impacts your daily life. When you search for McDonald's on Apple Maps, it pulls up the locations that are closest to you in descending order. Then when you select your location, it shows you all the possible ways to get there, including the fastest way. Apple Maps uses linear optimization to give you the fastest way to get to your nearest McDonald's. So it is time for a game. So we will be demonstrating the candy trail. And what is the candy trail? Well, 
it is going to be composed of a network or a bunch of different paths that have different costs associated with them. And then our participants will each have 25 pieces of candy and will try to choose the optimal way to the finish line so that they can retain as much candy as possible in the end. And how is this industrial engineering? Well, industrial engineers encounter these problems all the time, especially in the field of logistics. So you want to consider all of your options and try to find the cheapest route or the shortest route so that you can save as much money and time in the end. So that activity will be displayed here in a second, but thank you for watching our presentation. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment on the YouTube video and we'd be happy to answer them. Thank you. And Ryan, your last move, he's going to choose eight. Well, Ryan, in fact, has no candy left. So good try, Ryan. All right, Juliet, now it is your turn to find your path that you think is the shortest. Starting with four. One, good choice. She chooses two, three, and seven. And Julia, last but not least, Lauren is going to show us her path of choice. She also begins with four, just like Julia. Seven to make it to the end. So as we can see, Lauren chose the optimal path and has three pieces of candy left, while Ryan and Julia have no candy left. So as we said, it is important for industrial engineers to realize in industry and logistics how choosing the cheapest option and considering all alternatives can lead to saving the most in the end. Good job, team.